Hi. Today will be the first installation in a smart home series. We're going to start out by replacing this simple light switch with a GoSund smart switch. This is something that will work with Amazon Alexa, uh, Google's HomePod, or Apple's HomeKit. So we're going to replace this and then make it a voice activated switch that also dims on command. That was my intent, be able to dim this light down just a little bit more. So before we get started, the first thing we need to do is turn off the power and we'll come right back to this. Let's go downstairs. Okay, we're down here at my breaker panel. I've already labeled the one for my uh, bedroom overhead lamp, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that switch off and verify that it is off. Once I see the switch is off, I'm going to head upstairs and uh, start the project. So let's go back up. Okay, and now that we have the power turned off, we're going to remove the faceplate to get access to the switch and get ready to replace that. Just take off both these screws, and the faceplate should pop off. Sometimes you'll find that the faceplate uh, from being sitting here for years might be stuck to the paint or wallpapered in a little bit. Uh, so you might have to pop it a little bit if you need to, but just slide a screwdriver up underneath it to get it free. So the faceplate's removed, power is turned off. I can now remove these two screws and I'll get you a close up of that so you can see it. So here you go, taking out this screw, bottom screw and the top screw. And again, the power has been turned off for this switch to do this operation. So now we can pull this free and get working on it. Loosen it just a little bit more. You generally just need to loosen these and take the screws all the way out. And that should give you enough room to get the uh, wire freed up and off. Older outlets were generally installed with this little pigtail method. If you do a pigtail using these screws, you want to make sure you wrap the pigtail clockwise around so as you tighten the screw up at the end it actually draws the pigtail even tighter. Uh, newer outlets, I'm not sure what this has, you might have to straighten this out or even cut it off and make a new one so it just slides straight in and connects that way. I'll see what happens when we open this up. But now our outlet is ready to be used and let's unbox this and get going. The switch itself has a uh, caution label on it. it, basically says make sure you know what these wires are for and where they're all going to. I'm going to remove that label now. And it came with a uh, set of wire nuts and two additional screws in case you uh, had damaged one of your screws or need a new screw. So now we just have to match up the colors. I'll do the ground first because I have the least amount of room to get to it. And that's going to be the hardest one to put together. So I'll do the ground first. This one doesn't leave out as far. And just screw it all the way around until it's tight and it'll actually twist as it goes. And there you go. Next one I'll do the hot one for the black. So it's a little bit longer than it needs to be for what I need. I'm going to cut off the excess just to make this a little bit cleaner looking setup. I'm going to do the both. I'm going to do the white one at the same time. Now we're going black to black, if you can see that. White to white.
screw the wire nut right on the end. I might have some tape in my box and I don't at the moment. So once all that's done, I'm going to push everything back in and get out of the way. House wire, which is what we're dealing with here, is very rigid. So when you move something in place, when you position something, it stays where you put it. It's not going to flex back. So you can push this all the way back into the junction or into the box there, outlet box, to make sure you have plenty of clearance. And it's not going to cause a problem. So there we go. Nothing's really pushing back on me. I'm not using force to hold it in. I have everything pushed back in all the way so the box sits in there nice and neat by itself. I'm going to take my two screws and reinstall this. I can see that would be better. I cannot. This is a little bit easier to do with a work light on the project instead of a uh, camera light on me. There we go. So both those are started. I'm going to leave the faceplate off now while we make sure it works and test it. And then uh, I'll turn the power back on, see how it works. And then we'll go through the setup for these smart functions. So here we go. Okay, we're back here on my breaker panel and I'm going to turn on my bedroom. So that's the master switch, or that's the uh, breaker from my bedroom. That's done. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, we're back and you can see that the uh, green light is flashing. We have a level indicator for our dimming. I haven't even tried the switch yet, but my light is off. The switch itself does require setup via their app. So I had to download the, the uh, GoSund app. I'll show you how I did that. Once I did, I had to use uh, email to uh, get a confirmation code, confirm on the app, and that let me set up. So going through that process, asked for a little bit of information at one of my uh, email address, which I gave it. And it also let me to turn on location services on my phone. I'm not a big fan of location services, so I turned it on and I'll deselect it later after I'm done. But let's finish this setup here and get going with this. So I have the app open. It says add device. And it's asking what kind of, where it is. I have a switch, so let me see if I can find this. So dimmer switch, reset device first, turn on the device and confirm the indicator is blinking fast, which it is. Please complete after three minutes. So I'm not sure it's done, let's see. Confirm it's linking. Enable location, I did that. All right, it wants me to enter my password, which is normal. My Wi-Fi password, which is normal. So I can access all the smart home functions. And it's connecting the device now. I'll get a quick picture of that. So the device just changed and it looks like it's setting itself up right now. It just came on. It says smart cloud installing device. Okay, the switch is added. Click done. And it looks like it's functional. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's our installation of the uh, GoSun smart switch. Um, it's all lit up now. I will say I had to go back inside and run a neutral wire, but I'll save a video for that for another day. That was a little of a project, but I ran a neutral wire from the outlet down below and uh, drove that up through the wall and wired that in. So when you open the back of this plate up, you're looking for either two blacks and, and or two whites and a ground wire. So you should see four wires back there. If you don't, you may need to run a neutral wire like I did, but it works fine and I'll put another video out showing you how to do that later. Uh, so now you can see I can easily dim, change my lighting in the room uh, very simply, and I have it set up with Alexa, uh, with our Amazon, my Amazon device at home Alexa, so I can tell it what to do. 
Um, computer overhead light 100%. Computer overhead light, 30%. Computer bedroom lights off. Computer bedroom lights on. And that was my goal uh, to have everything set up. So the device is set up working perfectly. You can still turn it on and off with the switch. And obviously you can control those dimmer settings like I talked about earlier and bring that back to where it is. So that's what I was looking to do. There's my project. I hope it helps you. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and ding the little bell if you'd like to see any special content. There's definitely more to come.